Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Today I was at Kamkunji grounds and I watched the ground carefully. What I saw there was about what happened and the res resolutions of Azimio. My intention was not to go to the, the Kamkunji grounds. But what made me to go to Kamkunji grounds was to go and listen carefully the Azimio's what next direction. As I was just watching and listening, I had four resolutions from Azimio team. I was from Kamkunji. Now, I want to, or rather, I want to summarize this four. Then after summarizing, I want you to listen to Eugene Omalwa, who was reading the resolutions of Azimio. Before the Azimio came at Kamkunji grounds, the intelligent reports are that the Kenya Kwanza bipartisan team had called for a conference or press conference to request the Azimio to come back to a bipartisan kind of talk. Now, this is the resolutions of Azimio. Number one, Azimio has come out to cancel no bipartisan talk, no dialogue. They've come out to strike out any kind of dialogue, any kind of conversation in between them and the Kenya Kwanza. Number two, this, uh, the resolution is they are boycotting taxation. Number three, they are calling for Saba Saba Day, where we are being told by the Azimio team they are going to embark on a serious mass action every day. So we are waiting about this Saba Saba Day what is going to happen next after Saba Saba Day. Number four, the resolution of Azimio is to collect signatures seeking the revisit of the Ruto's Kenya Kwanza punitive finance bill. So these are the four that I summarized from what I listened and what I saw, and the video I recorded personally, I want you to watch that video of Eugene Omalwa reading those resolutions of Azimio as fire is in state house. So watch that video. After watching that video, I want us to have a critical analysis what Next, watch that video. The next video. Tukiwa kamukunji. Tumeamua hivi. Sasa sikiza ni wasome vile tumeamua. That there will be no more talks. Baudu wa timu yetu, sinya kanzo chenda molo, amekua hapa. Sifuna which part of our team amekuwa hapa Senator Weno. Mumesema there will be no more. There will be no more. That is our first resolution. Therefore, hebu sikiza hili ruto atusikie kimakini kabisa. Having imposed on us the punitive taxation measures containing the Finance Act 2023, in complete disregard of our views, 
we declare an end to the bipartisan talks to which we had sent our delegation in the hope that Kenya Kwanza will show interest in resolving the pro people issues, including the cost of living. It is time for action. It is time for resolution ya pili. Resolution ya pili. From today, we embark on a campaign of defiance and civil disobedience, which will take different forms at different times, including refusal to pay taxes and whose aim refusal to pay taxes whose aim is to force Mr. William Ruto's punitive regime to go home when the letters in the letter when the letters the people they may be we the people we the people we the people we the people shall convene on the same day of July, Saba Saba Day 2023, which event will unveil a program for nationwide civil disobedience to force the Kenya regime home. We the people will embark on a mass signature collection to signal the withdrawal of our sovereignty from officials of this illegitimate regime, including Mr. William Ruto and all elected leaders who supported the Finance Bill 2023. Of civil society and all progressive forces in our republic are making to free Kenya from the despotic Kenya Kwanzaa administration and we will pursue collaboration and joining of forces for the sake of our nation. Yatano na Yamwisho, we the people, condemn Ruto and his regime's lack of respect for the media, which is consistent with every dictator's lack of regard for the rule of law, constitutional order, and independent opinion. Munaunga Mukono, we the people to Mekubaliana. Sasa, Nataka Munipe Nafasi. Ladies and gentlemen, after watching that video, I have realized that Kenya Kwanza, before the Azimio team came, at Kamkunji grounds, they had a plea, a request from the Azimio that they should come back to the bipartisan talk, which has already failed because the number one resolution of Azimio La Umoja is no dialogue, no bipartisan talk. And that is what they have come out to say. But again, something that I was worried on how Azimio is going to do is about boycotting taxation. I don't know how. If you ask me, I don't know how they are going to fulfill that to boycott taxation. Because I had Raila Dinga coming out to explain that they want the Matatu sector, for example, to boycott the petroleum product, the fuel product, so that they should not experience the heavy fuel levy taxation. And Raila Odinga said, to make this to be successful is to defy the restrictions and rules and regulations in the roads that the cars, the matter tools, should carry excess so that this fuel or rather this taxation in fuel levy 
should not come to benefit the William Ruto's Kenya Kwanza government. Something that also I'm so eager and waiting to see whatever is going to happen is about Saba Saba Day. What next about Saba Saba Day? Is there any revolution that is going to come out from this Saba Saba Day? Because we are being told they have secured this date 7 of July 2023 to be a big day where Kenyans are going to storm the street. And before they storm the streets, they want to collect signatures as number four resolution to ensure that they're going to start this week to collect signatures, about 15 million of them. Those who are going to reject or to sign the revisit of this Kenya Kwanzaa government finance bill. So we are waiting and seeing, trying to imagine whatever is going to happen as Azimio is revamping themselves. Now, the simple question, is there life in Azimio? Is there any strength in Azimio? I want to say absolutely yes. What I saw today in Azimio team, I want to tell you, Kenya Kwanzaa is going to face a very hectic time. One, when you look at their team, two, despite of members of parliament who are rebelling, they are still having people. Three, the, the principles that they are having who are declaring to mobilize Kenyans, this must worry William Samruto regarding Keshavo. So when I was there at Kamkunji grounds, I'm a witness. I saw what happened. And it was a very tremendous kind of rally that everyone at Kamkunji grounds was waiting. So ladies and gentlemen, upon these resolutions of Azimio, what are thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.